Alright, here I am in a crossroads. Do I snitch or do I not? We snitch. Oh, that's tough. I don't feel good about it though. Uh -oh. This was Mr. Red's strategy, so I'm gonna throw him on the, under the bus. And I intend to see this through. The defense would like to request that Mr. Wright testify to the court. Your teacher. Everybody's cruddy out here. I'm sorry, Mr. Gavin, but this isn't about loyalty. It's about the truth. They just have to jam into that, like in the courtroom before. I would say that Apollo definitely fits the definition of absolute justice the most. Mm, mm, mm. He's the most bright-eyed and bushy tail. Like I said, everyone yeah. else has had more experience. Of exactly, what... and that's something that I feel like is very common. It's, it's one of the, the themes that pops up in One Piece as well, is that oftentimes mm. labor crews will have this idea that you know everybody in the Marines is is absolute in their justice and follows the rules to a T and things like that. But it's not always the case. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very well, defendant, Mr. Wright, take the stand, please. He's already there. He's being the center of attention, as he loves. Appetite before Moira. That evening, Christopher and I had dinner. He sat at the table and took photographs. He was just at his time for <laughs> Dave Smith walked in five minutes after Christopher. Trapped face. The girl was not Smith was I left the call to I returned. She was dead. Blood streaming from the cut. That's when I made another call. The defense attorney dad. Mr. Gavin! You were at the Borscht Bowl Club in the night of the murder? I dine with him all the time. And he talked to the defendant on the phone directly after the murder? I want to talk about people hiding information. Quite against my will, I had become involved in a murder. I thought I might be in need of a lawyer, so I called him. You were planning this all along, weren't you, right? Just because you wanted to drag me into your little murder trial. Christopher, in his head, calling Felix everything but a child of God, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only thing I want is the truth. As I did back then, and now. I thought my office was doing you a favor when we put you on your defense. It appears that I was wrong. Very well. Defense may cross-examine the witness. This trial messy as hell. Justice. Sir, he's lying, and you're going to expose him. Uh, understood, sir. Mr. Gavin versus Mr. Wright. This can't end well. I hate it when my dad's fight. Mm. Why can't I have a normal trial? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. When this is your first real trial. <laughs> That evening, Kristoff and I had to sat at the table in the photo. Hold it! You had dinner with Mr. Gavin? Yes. We got to see the Borscht Bowl Club quite frequently. We were enjoying a usual dinner at our usual spot. This one. Usual. I always use the table close to the I see. Mr. Smith was sitting. So, the place and such on the table were from your dinner? Indeed. Remnants of my meal with Kristoff. We dined for two hours, and Kristoff left. After that. Lady Smith walked over five minutes after Kristoff. Hold it! Five minutes? So, the two of them could have passed in the restaurant during the time. That would have been safe for the counter. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wright, what was it you said Christoph Gavin and Shady Smith may have met? 
Hmm, I believe I did say that. Here I was all nervous about this meeting. And now we hear they just passed in the hall. Hmm. It does seem a little weak as pretense, but I don't know. Oh, it would be. Mr. Wright, what are you hiding this time? When the trap fails, can't get the way Hold it! About this failed trap. That is the same trap that Miss Olga O'Reilly mentioned. The plan was simple. Elegantly. Well, you set up a trap as well. You swap the cards. Just like that, the ledge will be dashed to pieces. Army. A quirk happens to my pocket. Donna Card. The card she planted. I have a peek at it and found it was a prime card. I had a feeling something might happen, so I chose the card before the cards. Like you said, they oh, needed it. Where? Need it. There was an empty bottle of grapefruit. the card inside the box. An empty bottle? The murder weapon? Let's present the murder weapon. I was already thinking maybe we should present the murder weapon next to his fingerprints were on it. Just explain to you. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, it All the glass makes it hard to why see. Why his fingerprints were on it? Yeah. <laughs> Battle which between the deceiver and the one being deceived. This sounds like terrific drama. A card inside the a bump on a log on the ground. <laughs> I'll take a look. Mr. Wright, poke ahead of courtroom number three approves of this battle of wits. <laughs> Please revise your testimony with this new information. Can I, I was also going to say, if I press this, does it give me, does it let me just see the bottle? Why, why also, why in the bottle? Why in the bottle? What are you describing? I believe my opponent's intended to be. Please distract me. I knew it was Oh, oh, so you struck first. I like that. I see, because you can slip it in, but he couldn't have pulled it out. So he yeah. Prove yeah. I didn't swap any car. Okay. I know everything. I know <laughs> you get lucky and stick your hand in your pocket. Okay. So... Well, I think we go back one. Oh. Yes, okay. we should present that. Okay, yeah. Sure. yeah, I was gonna say. It is empty. That is good to know. Objection! Take that! Um, Mr. Ray, if I may. Yeah. I've examined the bottle and I don't see any card in here. Hmm. Surely that isn't all you have to say! I can't say that I know what happened to the car. I did put it in that bottle, I'm sure. Huh? <laughs> Perhaps a fifth person came and took it out? Oh, and a sixth person could have helped. Mr. Gavin, Mr. Wright is your client! Apparently he's not, Your Honor. He's my op. So, my apologies. I won't have you disparaging our investigation either. 
We looked inside that bottle. There was nothing. So what's going on? Is Mr. Right been waking up again? Or did that car just disappear? I think he's been in cross examination. I'm afraid Ty's contradiction is all for Ty's evidence. Oh. But it's hard to tell. This is great, Kim. You and the witness in the ring go for the KO! <laughs> Finish him! <laughs> Why do I get the feeling we're not on our client's side anymore? <laughs> Finish it off. Oh, yeah, we gotta go right here. Because we already did. We have not pressed. Okay. We made it to the call police, but first for the restaurant, right? That checks out, but then the police can get signal in, so that's all pretty refuted. Yep. Yep, yep, and then the police jet checks out. Was anyone else on the first floor at this time? Not a soul. It was the middle of the night, after all. So there, in the darkened restaurant, I called the cops. After making the call, I returned to the hideout. With a Y, because it's empty. It didn't seem right to leave the injured wa the waitress alone, even though I did that off. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was dead. Hold it. Hold it. And when you returned, the victim was already dead. Did he have the hat on? A bit. I was a little startled when I walked in. A little. He was bleeding through the floor. We should present the picture because yeah. we saw a bunch of problems. And I'll press this real quick. Oh, yeah. Can you explain why you called Mr. Gavin? I'd obviously gotten involved in a rather sticky affair. And I figured Christoph Wallace says to give me a friend rate for my defense. <laughs> yeah. Glad to hear you intend to. <laughs> they are throwing me under the bus. Oh, I'll pay him for I you got all the They find the ice cream cone quite high. Quite hot. <laughs> We're gonna be hot as fuck. Oh, oh. Alright. Justice, you know what you have to do. Line. Close now. Yes, sir. Alright, so I think there's two things. First, mm. these, so there's the, the last two bits of testimony. Mm hmm. So here you present the picture. The picture. Of yeah, because when we get in, he's. I think the side. Yeah. Look at that real quick. I was gonna say the first one because I'm like, who cut the hat or did the? Because yeah, he had the hat on. The police took the hat off, obviously, to see to investigate the injury, and then took the photo. So um, was... what are the descriptions? Do either specify? Hat, yep, photo of forehead hat removed during investigation. This is the first, yeah, so, so I, I think because the other one mentions that they removed the hat yeah, during yeah. the investigation, it's fine. We do the second one. Either yeah. one, I wouldn't present this one, but I I think, yeah. So you don't see the blood shooting from the forehead at all. But that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, well, how did he see? Oh, exactly, okay. I yeah, see. I guess. I see. Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> Mr. Wright, if I may, once again. Take a look at this photograph of the crime scene. See the victim? He's wearing a hat. I wouldn't think you could see blood on his forehead. Good point. <laughs> Justin. Next time you point out an inconsistency, a little bit more. Mm. Yeah. Mr. Wright, you explain this to the court. Uh, I forgot to mention something. I was the one who said that before. That, again, would be nice to yeah. oh, Stop touching the crime scene, also! Literally. And you! You put the hat on the dead man's head? It's gross. Or it's for our entire family. After calling the police when I returned to the scene, his head was in full view. Shining bright, just like it. Picked his hat up off the floor, put it on his head. What? What? No, I'm too pain. Why in the hell would you do a thing like that that's dirty? 
all I can say. That's the only thing I can say. No! Don't touch anything! Literally. <laughs> so, Miss O'Reilly didn't see it? It being the victim's or his head? I, I, that bowl. I believe I was the only one who witnessed it. Ah, uh, here we go again. Pardon? Oh, sorry. Now I did it. <laughs> this seems that our client is determined to lie his way through this case. Hmm. Is he still our client, Mr. Mr. Gavin? I believe that's enough of that. Uh, Mr. Gavin? This witness's testimony is more like a travesty. It's riddled with lies. I'm beginning to see how you came to lose your attorney's badge seven years ago. Well, I don't think he ever lost it. You certainly have a unique way of treating clients, Miss Bob. I never knew. You 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 switched up on me, er, 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 this you you mm -hmm. stop it, me, me, er, er. I believe it was you who threw the first stone. No, that was not. If it's all right, if you intend to ever tell the truth about this case, it's now or never. Don't be misled. I haven't told a single lie to you. Eh. Eyes of omission. Oh, that's when I noticed the trap. I put the card in the bottle to expose it. When I put the hat on the victim's head, I say I had a reason to do that as well. Reason? That reason is right here. Your, your, your cell phone? That night. Well, the night scope is the defense attorney's gas calling us witnesses. Just in case, we recorded our conversation. You got Phoenix switch on. You, you, yeah, you, hey, no, yeah. man, <laughs> you like Leland. He's... I was already going to suggest for the last bit to present the cell phone no, and he said he called. But no, this Phoenix guy's got it for now. Phoenix is yeah, like, I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> now that we're all here, there's no reason why I should play it back. First off, I seem to be in a bit of trouble. What's this? Game not going well? Something's wrong. The gentleman who challenged you, he turned out to be good? He turned out to be dead. Someone hit him hard. You mean somebody cracked that flawless bone china place? But bone china pate? What? I don't know. It wasn't you, was it? Maybe. The cop should be here in a minute. I'm in your hands. Copy that. Bone oh, China plate. Yeah, so how would somebody know? What does that even mean? The murder weapon was not, in fact, a bottle. If there was a oh. cut, a broken China plate would explain it. I was wondering how the bottle did it. Break, break. yeah, if it was a murder weapon in the first place, yeah. Right. I was just gonna say, oh, it broke and the card store on the floor, and that's why it, it, like, yeah. it just yeah. blended in with the other ones. I thought it was just gonna be that bottle wasn't the murder weapon in the first place, and the bottle that did do it was broken, but that was, uh, you, the, yeah, no, that would make sense. A kind of porcelain, very smooth and shiny, and not plate, but... Pate. <laughs> I believe he was referring to a certain gentleman's balding forehead. <laughs> oh, Which, how would, he how would you know that yeah. if he never saw him without his hat on? And like Timothy, he wore his hat. You know how bald people are. They mm -hmm. go, hat. <laughs> okay. The court appreciates the defendant's discretion in not indicating my forehead. <laughs> Don't want to be like Ken on stage. He's taking charge. <laughs> Wait a second. Something's not right about that phone call. So after Mr. Gavin ate dinner with you, he left the Borscht Bowl Club. No, sir. Then, then how did he know? When did he see this bone china pate? Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's it. Wow, can you imagine getting a murder charge off a ball joke? That's crazy. Literally. That's cr <laughs> hey, hey, that's not what you just wild. That's that not what you want. When I began to see my good friend in a different light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, shut up, uh -oh. Phoenix. Trouble. I return 
return to the crime scene. Here's stuff on blurred out halfway through. I did it for you! When I spotted Mr. Smith's head again, I realized exactly what was wrong. He just hadn't even seen the guy's head. Uh, yeah, if, like, when he played, his hat was on the whole time. Yep. Yep. Well, Mr. Gavin, they have been set. That way there would have been a no opportunity mm. to cover the head. Because like, he could have said I came back, or I was your defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Perhaps you would like to explain this before? Exactly how did you come by your frivolous knowledge of the victim's head? Christoph said I am being blues. <laughs> Fight <laughs> this man! So, this is your reason. The reason why you put the victim's hat back on. To your point, Mr. Gavin. Come down to this end. Phoenix right. Order! I will have order, Mr. Payne! Phoenix loves bad boys, that is true. Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. I believe this court has been left with no other choice. Are you prepared to hear defense attorney Gavin's testimony? I uh, don't. Uh, <clears throat> well, it's the prosecutor. I. Very well. We'll break for 10 minutes. After which, Mr. Gavin will take the stand for a cross examination. Are we all clear on that? Crystal clear, Your Honor. Very well. This will be the final recess for the day. Can I come to your chambers? No. Do you want to stop it here for a break with what last episode is too, then? Um... Might as well, we're 20 minutes into it. You sure? I was gonna... If, it's up to you. I was just gonna make it a little longer, but yeah, if you want to. Yeah, man. Alright. We, as they take a recess, we shall as well. See you next time. Next Bye. Time.